Hello, my name is Robert Marquez, and today I'm going to demonstrate creating a simple use case diagram with a product called Enterprise Architect by Sparks Systems. I'll begin with the file menu, selecting New Project. I'll call my project EA Demo 1. When I see the model wizard here, I'm going to go ahead and close this and go to my view menu and open my project browser. And from there, with the model selected, the icon on the top which says New Package I will select. I'll click on New Package. And I'll give this package a name, Mobile Device Information System. This is a fictional system I'm working on for the demo. And from here I will right click and select Add Diagram. I'll make sure that UML Behavioral is selected and I have Use Case selected on the right here for Types. My diagram I'm going to call Use Case for MDIS. I see a tab here. This area is the drawing area. So now I'll go to the diagram menu item and select toolbox. And I'll begin by placing an actor on the stage here on the screen. This is basically an entity for the system. So I'm going to identify this as an employee. And using this system, I'll also have a manager. So selecting the employee, starting with that first, there's a arrow here in the upper right. I'm going to select this and drag it out just a bit to place my use case definition. And I'm going to start with one called request a mobile device. So what we're doing now with these use case circled items here, we're going to define what it is we want the system to do. Not how to do it, but what we want it to do. And in the case of a mobile device, there's actually two uh, different types that are handled in different ways. So I'm going to extend this out into a specialization. And I'm going to call this request a small, a smart phone. So this arrow indicates that there is a more general case of requesting for a mobile device, but in particular, there's one called a smartphone, and there's yet another in this demo, a specialization, which is request a tablet. So the, the initially, this is what the employee would like to get from the system in requesting for a mobile device. A manager, in this case, is going to want to see a list of mobile device requests to approve. And additionally, you won't just want to see the list, but the manager will want to approve a mobile device request. Okay, so getting back to this uh, request a mobile device, turns out that there's some common functionality between these two that they actually use on a, from another use case. So I'm going to represent that here now. <clears throat> they include the use of something called route 
valid request to employee manager's work queue for approval. So what this dotted <coughs> arrow line means is that this use case item is actually needed by this use case. So this use case uses this use case's functionality. And the same is true for this one. So say it includes that as well. Both of these have to route a request for approval to a manager. Now looking at these use case symbols doesn't really say a whole lot to a developer on what is expected to go on. I, the, the idea is, okay, request a smartphone, but we can add a little more detail into these. If we expand and look inside of them, there's a scenarios section under rules, and there's two tabs here. Under the description tab, if you already, already have some steps identified in a use case description, like in a Microsoft Word document, you can paste them into here. So if I already copied mine into a clipboard, I have a few steps here. There are five. System displays request form. User fills out form requesting a tablet. User submits a request and so forth. These are five steps that we can give as clues to a developer for this use case, which is called, uh, <clears throat> this is the request a smartphone. So I'm going to right click after highlighting from here and say create structure from notes. New line delimited. And so what that did is, if I go back to the Structured Specification tab, it read what was on this tab from Description and brought them into here as steps, one through six. So we can read these out. They're basically the same as what was on the other page. Uh, display request form, fill it out, submit, and so forth. So this will be a little more handy for a developer to see. Of course, we can't give the developer our uh, modeling tool just to look at that. Can we give him something to view, like a document? And yes, we can. So I'm going to go to my project browser and select my package here, Mobile Device Information System. Right click and select Documentation, Generate Documentation. And there are a few templates under the template section here you can use. I like the one for requirement report, so I'll click generate. And once that's been done, I have to pull that out of the file system where it wrote it. And so if we take a quick look at it, it gives us a nice title in the front, Requirement Report, Details, Mobile Device Information System. Small table of contents. Uh, you'll be able to hand this off to your developer to actually see the diagram that you had created with use cases, as well as some of the detail we put in those use cases. In our case, we demonstrated it with one. So here's the request a smartphone use case. And we can see the text that was in the description box as well as the text that was later broken out into steps on the scenario tab. So request a smartphone it has these tasks related to it with, that we expect to be taken care of. So we'll just wrap this up here. Going to add a boundary. Make some room here at the top. Use case diagram for mobile device information system.
All right, so what I want to do, there are a number of other use cases I can add to this system, and I already have something in mind. You've already seen how I've created these, so the additional use cases will be created in the same way. So what I'm going to do is take a brief break here and return back with the remaining use cases added to this diagram. Okay, we're back, and the additional use cases and a few new actors have been added to the scene. I'm going to quickly go over this so we can guess, just get a good idea of what a system like this looks like with this use case representations. We already said that the employee would be involved in requesting for a mobile device, of which there are two particular kinds. The employee would also expect for the system to send them emails on the progress of the request. They'd like to be able to track the status of their request and view a history of other requests they've made using this system. The manager's expectations are still the same as when we left. For this new actor, we have a company product request analyst. This person would, lead, would like to view a list of approved open requests, order the uh, approved mobile requests from a vendor. They'll need to update the request product received from vendor. So when the vendor um, receives the, when the vendor sends back the product, the analyst would like to be able to indicate that they've got it back and in response to that they'll also need to send a request to a distribution group to pick up the product so the distribution group would like to see a list of products that are ready for pickup from this system and they would also like to be able to update the system indicating when they've already delivered the product to the client and the client has accepted delivery so that concludes this demo of creating use case diagrams with Enterprise Architect. Thank you for watching.